This is not where I left you. Get down this instant. Get down. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Survival Challenge. I am just finishing uh, washing up after I've had some breakfast. Nice lot of uh, fried egg on toast. Beautiful it was. But now to business. Turn that off. Want to save electricity? Oh. Close that. We don't want any animals in there in the night. So. Ah, one thing I didn't think about yesterday. And the tracks are still refusing to come down. Uh, one thing I didn't think about yesterday is I can sell this now. I can sell... My tent. £23. 14 months old. Ah, good times. What am I talking about? They were horrendous times. Ooh. Harvest time. Let's go and warm up the harvester. And head out to have a look at our soybean crop. And look, the, um, the barley's germinated as well. Everything's going really well. So. What we need to do is harvest and sell the soybeans today. Which will be absolutely fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. The grass is growing back nicely as well. So hopefully uh, next month we should get another cut off it. No, yeah, November will be the last opportunity before winter to get another cut off it anyway. Uh, so. That will have to be what it is. We will have to do that in November. So. As of now, anyway. Can't get a straw off soybeans. 100% sure about that. But what I can do is head around the headland... We'll go do an entire loop of the headland and then we'll start going up and down. Which will be amazing. So I shall see you when the combine harvester is full up. So two laps of the field and the combine is full. I've no idea how much that's going to fill this trailer. I hope, well, I hope it fills it quite a lot, but then again, I hope it doesn't fill it much because it would be great to get all of this field into one trailer load, which would be, oh, that's not ideal. Yeah, it would be good to get all this field into one trailer load, but then again, it would be better to have more trailer loads because you get more money. Right, that'll do nicely there while we're filling up. Uh, I don't think it takes long to fill it. Uh, in fact, that's pretty much it, isn't it? It was about 3,000. 3,500? 3, ah, there you go. 31%. So, we can leave that there. We're going to start going up and down the field now. Here we go. We're going to carry on. So, I've been thinking, which may surprise some of you, but, um, yeah, I, I think that I want to get some cows pretty soon. And what I need for cows, obviously, is hay to start with, straw, and silage. Now, I think after we've sold all this, 
and we've got the money from that we need to buy a sprayer because we're going to be um, going to be needing to spray both fields this year we're going to in this game day we're going to replant this field as wheat or barley probably wheat I think we have a, a giant wheat field um, and that will give us the option to have straw from it as well we will buy the sprayer and some herbicide possibly fertilizer as well yes definitely fertilizer as well and we will get or we will see if we have enough for a cow enclosure something where they can make milk because um yeah it it would be extremely good to have some cows i'm going to get them young so that they're cheaper but we'll just be able to feed them hay for a bit so we'll need to get a tether and if we get a tether we'll have everything that we need everything that we need in order to make hay everything that we need until the cows are 18 months old then they'll start needing tmr so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to crack on with this harvest and then we'll see how much we make on the soybeans we will then get the wheat into this field which shan't, won't take long at all with the new tractor and then we'll have a look at cow sheds and have a think about where we're going to put it as well we go we are harvested soya beans are all harvested let's pop the um, pop the harvester back in the shed and then we'll go sell that load it's actually a pretty full load which is not too bad at all Yeah, the field field it yielded pretty well, so I was pretty impressed with that. No problems whatsoever. Okay. Excellent. Let's head up to the cell point. Got 9,268 litres, which is pretty good. 83% of a trailer load. So I'm glad I put the extra sides on, because otherwise we would have been two runs up there. It was only, only 100 quid for the sides, and I will use them again in the future, so that's good. Um, and then what we'll have to do is we'll have to come back and cultivate that field and get some wheat into it wheat or barley what do we think probably barley keep both fields the same 
Maybe I could get some chickens. They'll eat barley. Not a bad shout. Anyway, I think priority is probably are the cows. And for that, I need a little bit more money and a tether. And we do need that sprayer. Let's just see what we can do with, the, with what we've got. Here we are then. Moment of truth. Oh, that's not bad. Over 10,000. 15,000. 16,713. And an environmental score of 424. Now that's not bad. One thing I did want to have a look at is how much land is. So we own that plot up there at the minute. Oh, it's the branch. Oh, 85,000. Yep, they're all 85,000. Okay. Don't understand that. 5,700,000 per hectare. Whereas ours is 69,000 per hectare. Anyway, not important right now. Just good to bear that in mind. Um, that's 85,000 is the price for more land. I think at the moment we're very good with the land that we've got. But in the future, I will want more. I'm greedy like that. But at the, at the moment, I feel like we're not just surviving, we are flourishing. So, I'm pretty pleased. Pretty pleased. Right, let's head back. And then we will cultivate and seed and get a feel for the barley. Well, that job has actually taken a lot longer than I thought it would. I think next year I'll be getting a big, uh, bigger disc harrow. And I'll definitely need a bigger plough when I buy more land and start making more fields. It's cultivated, very effective. Beautiful seed bed. Ready to plant the... Uh, the barley seeds. So that is the next job on the list. There. That's all done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pop this down over near our shed. Doesn't have to be in the shed. In fact, I'll just back it in over here, I think. Just in around the trees. This here will do fine. There we go, on the floor. And I need... What do I need? Oh, the cedar. <laughs> Losing it. Should have enough fuel to get this done. Hmm, says a quarter of a tank on there. I think it'll be alright. 
Need to remember to do the, the sheep's water today. In fact, I'll do that now just so I don't forget. And then next month, we're going to need to do some hay. We'll have sheep and cows that will need hay. Not sure if they'll take all this or not. They might do, they might not. Uh, there. And they have done. Let's go fill it up again. I do love this John Deere. Really is good. Okay, there's our water fill point. There we go. We'll fill up again. If I'm getting cows, I'm better off to get a bigger water water tank that can also do milk. That would be wonderful. There we go. That's them topped up again. Just right around here, and then we can just leave this here. For now. Actually, that one might be able to do milk as well. I don't know. We'll have to see. But, in the meantime, we need to get some more barley in the ground. And then we can look at cow sheds. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, tractor. I think one loop round. And then we'll do a round each obstacle. But this is um, this is wider than the cultivator, and it'll I can pull it. It'll there's a faster working speed, so I can pull it at well, it looks like 11 miles an hour. So it should be a lot quicker than the cultivating work. And then we can get on and have a look. At well, we need to buy a sprayer, we need to buy a tedder, and then we need to buy a cow shed. Once again, that took a little bit longer than I thought. Not as long as the cultivating, but it. We have the whole seed, the whole field done. We've still got 19% seed in the, uh, in the cedar, which isn't bad. 160 liters. That will easily do our small field again next year, once we've harvested. I'd say that was pretty, uh, pretty successful. Pretty successful. Right, cedar can go back over here on the hard standing. Then we've got some stuff that we need to buy. Right then. First of all, we need to check the used machinery. Oh, a power harrow. I've got a cultivator. And it's not worth that much. <laughs> okay, so most important thing then is going to be a sprayer. This is the sort of thing I had in mind.
Something like that, maybe. Although, this is an 8 meter working width, and this has a 9 meter working width. So it's got an extra meter on it, and it's trailed. And it's got a lot a bigger capacity. So that was worth it in itself. Uh, stickers, yep. Track width. I don't know. Right, continental tires are an extra 1,200, so I'm not going to go for that. That would be ridiculous. So, we have a sprayer. We need herbicide. Herbicide here. We, uh, we will not need 2,000 litres of herbicide, I hope. There we go. That's herbicide. I also want some liquid fertilizer. Now that's another 3,200. Spending lots of money here. And then the last thing was a tether. I want a pretty good working width on a tether. We want to make some hay. But equally, I do not want to spend that much money. So that's got a 4.4 meter working width. That's a 6.1 meter. I think it's definitely going to be worth going for the 6.1 meter. So. We'll leave it as it is. And we're going to buy that. £11,000. That leaves us with a balance of £19,000. That we can put towards cow pasture so 15,000 is the cheapest but that will not give us slurry manure or milk at least I don't think it will give us milk pretty sure it won't not sure so we're going to have to do some more saving We haven't got enough money for this. But if we did have enough money, we might be able to fit it here, next to the sheeps. Possibly. I don't need auto water. We can do that. We can do the water ourselves. Something like that would be amazing. Also massive. Well, that's £40,000, so we're going to give that a miss for now. Even that, brilliant, 50000 This, cows and pigs together. Which... Is that cows? Could be a barn with pigsty and cow barn. Which would be incredible. But £65,000. And then we're getting into the realms of possibly not worth it. So. Let's. Wait. And we will get one. Possibly, probably that one. Yeah, probably get that one. Once we've got £25,000. So, I'm going to leave this episode there. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.